Thank you, President Montilla, uh, members of the advisory group of the ICT, and students and friends of the Institute. Thank you and good morning. First, I want to express my gratitude to the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy for inviting me to give me the opportunity to uh, discuss uh, about uh, the role of universities in Catalonia. And do so in this important conference, the annual conference of the Institute, and with such a relevant audience. So thank you. University, honoring the word and the etymology of the word, universitas, is a universe of knowledge, a place where knowledge is born, grows, and is transferred. Actually, university takes on its full meaning by transferring knowledge to students. Students that become well-trained future professionals to the socioeconomic uh, sector, contributing to innovations that increase the added value of products and services. Students that become wise, free, and socially committed citizens with an increase of quality of life and a better knowledge that make us more cultured. Through its activity, university makes a decisive contribution to the development of a community and its social, cultural, and economic revitalization. But above all, university is an educational center. In this case, a center of higher education. According to the University of Girona, a professor and philosopher, Juan Manuel del Pozo, we could define education as the impulse that people give to increasing the knowledge of others in order to guide them in the experience of living on the basis of a fond and tender relationship and on certain human and social values. An education in values aspires to be an education in all the aims and objectives that are worthy of our attention and stimulate life. Values that become rights, rights that are demanded by the society. Values such as, for example, life, liberty, peace, mutual respect, and respect for diversity. Critical knowledge, harmony, and dignity etc. And a value is worth as much as for what it objectively represents as an improvement in society, as for what it subjectively stimulates in the individual that practices it. That is why it is so important to educate people in values, because it develops motivation and a personal habit for achieving admirable objectives and worthy aims for human uh, existence. Throughout the evolution of humanity, we see that liberty is the great generator of values. In fact, it seems as if all values are ultimately concentrated in or almost end up being reduced to the very meaning of the word liberty. As uh, Jean-Paul Sartre said, we are condemned to be free. So we are condemned to live according to the values that we have. We can only live in peace with ourselves if we are in harmony with the values that are our own personal convictions and those that we have made our own by virtue of having received an education and belonging to a given society. That's the reason why values and liberty are so important. That's why when we have lived according to our values, we have tasted them and they suddenly disappear for 
a reason or another, this makes us feel uneasy, uncomfortable, and expose us. Now, it is necessary to digress, to move a bit away from the topic, and go back to the 1st of October 2017. And taken directly from Wikipedia, the Catalan page, word for word, says, the referendum on the independence of Catalonia was held on the 1st of October 2015. It was organized by the government of Catalonia, formed after elections in which supporters of the referendum obtained a majority in the Parliament of Catalonia. However, the Spanish government opposed it in accordance with its interpretation of the Spain's laws and constitution. The calling of the referendum was officially <coughs> suspended by the Spain's constitutional court the day after it was approved. But the Catalan government continued organizing it. Basing itself on the referendum on the Self-Determination of Catalonia Act approved on the 6th of September 2015. The referendum was held in the middle of, or surrounded by, a clash of legalities. That's the description that is uh, given by Wikipedia uh, about the 1st of October 2017. This clash of legalities turned into physical violence on the part of the security forces of the Spanish state, and subsequently Catalonia's autonomy was suspended by force. Some of its government and political leaders are in prison, with the public prosecutor calling for prison sentences totaling over 200 years while the president and the rest of the government were exiled, as you know, in different uh, countries in Europe. Since then, the country has been in an exceptional situation. And that is so because, as I was saying, we can only live in harmony if the human and social values with which we have been educated, democratic values and freedom, are respected. We also need to reflect on the influence in the days following the 1st of October 2017 in the schools over the last two years since then. During all this time, the work of teachers and schools has been questioned. Teachers are, some teachers are apprehended or charged, while school heads and university directors are continually being questioned. Displaying symbols is regulated, debate within universities is at some point obstructed, and freedom of expression is as well at some point repressed. The very model of education in values has come under question and the freedom to explain reality and to introduce this reality into the classroom has been described by some por political parties as indoctrination. Thanks, thanks what not for all the political parties, but some of them uh, describe education as indoctrination. In that regard, it is appropriate to quote the philosopher John Dewey, who reflected a great, a great deal on the relationship between education and politics. The only true education, he said, comes through the stimulation of the child's powers by the demands of the social situation in which he finds himself. Education is actually reconstruction or reorganization of experience. In other words, Dewey suggested that the life, the social activities and the environment in which a student moves should enter the education center. Education cannot remain outside society as a tower of ivory. Education must be a terrain in permanent <coughs> transformation, as is democracy itself. The 1st of October was a crucial day, a very significant one in Catalonia, 
not just a minor day that passed by unnoticed. It is therefore important to be talked about. It is important that the questions asked by students can be answered appropriately. It is important that people can talk about it normally in schools and in universities. So here I want to assert the right to foster the capacities of students according to social demands because teachers have the right and the duty to do so. In the days before and after October the 1st, there were voices supporting these intrinsic duties as part of the teacher's role. The School Council of Catalonia said, in Catalonia, democracy has been learned at school. Pedagogical renewal at the height of the Francoism was the seed for a democratic future of effective and plural coexistence. We are a single people, brought the School Council of Catalonia. Thanks to school, uh, also brought the same council. And lots of schools brought manifestos that said, we are school, we are democracy. Democracy is always about educating people, raising them, enable everyone, everybody, wherever they come from, to have the possibility of giving meaning to their life. Those words were said by Thomas Mann once, uh, one in one of his talks in America. Warning, actually, Thomas Mann was warning about the dangers of fascism when he said these words. A fascism that is leading society to decline, a declining culture targeting with obsession the educational system. A fascism that can be only challenged by more and better education. That is another of our duties as universities, to combat this decline, to fight for an education at the service of democracy and dignity. In his book, Classici par la vita, Classics for Life, the thinker Nuccio Ordin wrote that educating students in tolerance, justice, love for the common good, human solidarity, respect for nature, and artistic heritage is carried out in silence, away from the spotlight. Unfortunately, these days in Catalonia, education is in the spotlight of political debate, permanently questioned and even belittled by some political parties. But, does, but that is no new, sorry, but that is not new either. Universities have always been the cradle of ideas, the refuge of freedom of, of expression, of free and critical thinking. They have always been so, above all in difficult times. And there are many examples uh, throughout European history where social discontent has turned into student movements. One example is the, for instance, the important role played by the Paris Sorbonne University in the events of May 1968, which spread throughout France and led to the biggest student money, uh, movement and the biggest general strike in Western Europe, and which forced the government, or actually forced the government of Charles de Gaulle to uh, call early elections. We could also say it, uh, the important part played by students in the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, where the violent repression of a student demonstration in Budapest spread throughout the country and topped the government of Andras Hagedas, who supported actually the Stalinist policies of the Soviet Union to uh, 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 at risk. Huh? In 2006, a student demonstration in France led a joint announcement by then the President Jacques Chirac and the Prime Minister Dominique de Villepin that the first contract act would be withdrawn in favor of a set of measures to reduce youth unemployment. More recently, we could also mention the importance of universities in questioning Brexit, for instance. Catalan public universities share with European universities a tradition of critical thinking, a culture of liberty and pluralism, 
and a commitment to civic and social values of a democratic society. Part of a statement issued by the Catalan Association of Public Universities, which groups together the eight Catalan public uh, universities in Catalonia, quotes, in the words of actually a professor in Illinois, Luis Elena Delgado, said, a democracy is not measured by times when there is agreement, but by how this agreement is managed. So, with the ideological pluralism of our universities and as committed institutions, we reaffirm our commitment to rights and politics with a will to serve and be constructive. And we do so convinced that only by asserting the principles of democracy, human rights and dialogue, respect and dignity and equality, will it be possible to manage this end, overcome conflict and strengthen ourselves as a society. At the time I'm giving this speech, a group of colleagues of the University of Girona are following at the Aula Magna, the, the Aula Magna is the main room of the university, it's following an abstinence of food in support of the hunger strike of the imprisoned political leaders. So all the speech which takes us back to the beginning, actually at back at the beginning of the speech, and the words of uh, Jean Paul Sartre, who told, we are condemned to be free. Thank you very much. Well, for this is my, uh, my opinion, but I, I am an academic. I'm not uh, politic uh, in this sense. So I can only speak from my academic point of view, okay? And this is uh, my way yeah, of... Uh, well, we have a, a country, uh, let's say Catalonia, a country that uh, has uh, a language, Catalan, and, um, and this is the, actually is the language of Catalonia. Okay, uh, but uh, Catalonia is a bilingual country. We have a second language. The second language is Spanish. Okay, Spanish is the official language of all the Spain, and the two languages, Catalan and Spanish, are official languages in Catalonia. Okay, the two languages. The two languages are learned at school, and every student that is uh, educated in Catalonia is uh, fluent in the two languages. And this is, uh, this is what I see in the street, uh, okay? But it's also true, it's also true that uh, the influence of uh, Spanish language, uh, since Spanish is spoken, it's, it's a language that has been uh, many millions of people speak Catalan, is present in the media, is present in the TV, is present in the radio, in Catalonia. So the government of Catalonia has to make an effort to preserve Catalan, has to make this effort. And that's, that's, that's for sure. So there is a public Catalan TV and it's sponsored by the Catalan government to, uh, to preserve Catalan. Catalan is speaking probably by four or five million people in Catalonia uh, every day and the rest of the, the population in Catalonia is speaks Spanish regularly. And there's not a problem, I mean, in the everyday uh, in Catalonia, according to the language. That's from my point of view. But it's sure, that's uh, true, that the Catalan government has to preserve Catalan. But this is question in Spain, uh, because Catalonia is not a state because no one is questioning that uh, Finland is preserving uh, Finnish, no? uh, or other states preserved other languages that probably are being spoken by less people than the Catalan itself. No? Uh, and Spain is a, a state, is a country that there are four different languages, and uh, regional authorities have to preserve these these languages, otherwise the influence of Spanish will mm, will rise them, no, will. Uh, this is not, I, I, again, uh, I don't know what's the news that arrives no, 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 here, just, uh, 
but uh, in the university and in the city, uh, in Girona, in Barcelona, the people speak Catalan, they turn to Spanish, uh, they turn back to Catalan, and then they are sharing some beers together, and the two languages interact without any problem. In the university, this is the same. There are some teachers that uh, give lectures in Spanish, and the the teacher, uh, the, the, the following teacher is uh, giving the lecture uh, in Catalan and probably the next one in English. And this is not a problem for students. So the students follow uh, Catalan and Spanish without a problem because they are bilingual, bilingual. Uh, this is not, I mean, in the, in the academia is not, is not a problem. Of course, there are probably some people that they want to change from Catalan to Spanish or from Spanish to Catalan. They are always uh, people narrow-minded, I would say, uh, in this sense. But in, the, but in general, point of view, this is not, I mean, the society, mm, this isn't f with, the, with respect to the languages, it's not a, it's not, I guess it's not a problem. Well, I think all, all, all the people is have, have the right to express and to, uh, to express the, their position. Uh, I think Catalonia is only asking to, to allow the people to express their opinion. All the citizens, all the people, not a part of the people, all the citizens. Um, so this is, uh, this is something that is, has been happening in the world for ages. Can you imagine Europe before the empires, the Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire, for instance, or the Ottoman Empire, or the French Empire? How has been changed Europe in the last uh, 80 years? A lot of countries, and this is uh, the evolution of humanity. I mean, there's no... There's no way to oppose uh, against this. It's democracy. Democracy is allow the people to express their opinion. And I think Catalonia is not asking for the independence. Catalonia is asking for a referendum to allow the people to express their opinion. And, well, this is my personal view. Uh, um, uh, probably this is the politics should answer these sort of questions. But from the economic point of view, I think uh, this is what the, so the society is asking for. Hmm? Any other question? No? So then thank you very much for attending the presentation. Thank you.